language policy and language rights. In the coming modules, we will be talking about the significance of language policy and the significance again of language rights and how do they both intersect, what, is the, um, what are the things that a language policy does, how do we define language policy itself, what are the components of language policies, what are the dimensions of language policy, what are the goals, why do we need a language policy as such, and this reminds me that Pakistan does not have any written language policy. So this can also be the case that your language policy evolves um, uh, around the recommendations, around the declarations made by political leaders or the steps that the government takes. But there is no as such a separate document that talks about language policy. Again, there is um, in Pakistan's constitution some guidelines regarding the language policy but again, it's not like a separate document. Uh, when we talk about language policy, we it definitely um, t uh, talk about languages in education, what should be the medium of instruction, what, what are the languages that should be taught during the schools, and who should have access to them, and how do languages actually affect la educational outcomes, we will briefly touch upon that because with language are also related issues of equity, issues of equality because if we are saying that access to resources is mediated through language, then again, who studies those languages, who has learned those languages, how have the schools allowed um, uh, the people to learn those languages become an issue of equity and justice also. So when we talk about social justice and equity and equality, it takes us to the, uh, the whole dimension of language rights. So language rights, it's a whole discourse uh, uh, on its own and uh, you can see it in UNESCO and you can see it in the discourse of um, international organizations which are paying a lot of attention to the language rights of the people, especially the minority communities. So we will discuss what do we mean by that exactly. What is the significance of having this concept of language rights? And then how is language related to poverty? But we will only touch upon briefly on this, this point. And yes, of course, when we are talking about language, it's not, not just something about education. It is definitely, as Tariq Rahman, Dr. Tariq Rahman says, it is related to politics. So no language is ever neutral. No language practice is ever neutral. It is definitely political. It is definitely related to issues of relational power.